Word on the street is you want to learn how to make some indie music. Do not fear. That's what I'm here for. Fellas, let's get right into it. I'm not going to waste any of you guys' time. If you don't know how to play like any instruments or anything like that, and you just want to record your voice on some cool indie beats and just get a feel for it, this is like the perfect video. Regardless, by the end of the video, you guys are going to know how to make an absolute indie slammer. Okay, so uh, let's just get right into it. And I'm going to keep it nice and simple. Let's just go. You might be thinking, how do I get my hands on some beats? I don't know any producers. Where do I start? I'm going to put you on. This is pretty common knowledge. So I'm not really putting you on. I'm just telling you how it is. But there's a lot of producers that are actually looking for you. If we just go over to YouTube, look, we're gonna keep it real simple. Let's just do indie type beat, but some sauce. If you're trying to replicate an artist type of beat, just put in that artist's name, type beat. It'll come up with a bunch of different beats, but uh, let's just do indie, oop, I did indie type. Hold on, indie type beat. Back to life for seven seconds. I'm bugger with it. So next up, I can't show you my screen, but we are downloading the beat. Now, if you're gonna post this anywhere, like major platforms, you're gonna wanna buy the beat. But if you're just testing it out, I think it's fine to just download the beat, you know what I mean? Miraculously, we have the beat in our downloads folder, and we're gonna drag that onto our DAW of choice, which is a digital audio workstation. This could be GarageBand, uh, it could be Pro Tools. I am personally using FL Studio because, in my opinion, FL better. Now we have this beat, we can press play. <laughs> I'm up, I can slap it. Now the next step is writing. And writing is pretty hard to do for a lot of people because especially if you're brand new to it, you don't know what the hell to talk about. And I think that's pretty normal for the most part unless you've gone through, I don't know, a lot of stuff. But it kind of leaves you in a stub of like, what do I talk about? And I think what kind of helps me is to kind of build scenarios in my head. I don't necessarily have to be going through some crazy breakup to talk about a crazy breakup. So let's brainstorm an, an idea. You know what, let's, uh, let's pull up ye old Google Docs. For me, I kind of just think on the spot, but if you're brand new, I think it helps to jot some stuff down. For the vibes, let's go for heartbreak, singing, and maybe we got, maybe we got cheated on. Maybe we leveled up. So we have our general topic written down. We want it to be about heartbreak. We want to be singing. Uh, maybe we got cheated on, but we leveled up on them. <laughs> but maybe we missed them. Maybe. Now this part isn't necessary, but uh, I personally like to do it because it helps me a ton because I can't really sing. So I like to drag on one of my presets. I'm gonna drag on my Gunner's Main Crispy. All these presets come with it. They're all pretty different. Turn this bad boy on. Like so, so. Hello. Hello. So. Now we're just gonna hum and sing and just kind of come up with some words, see what kind of comes to our head first. Okay, we're gonna obviously thinking about you is sticking to our brain. Thinking about you all on my mind. Stuck to me like glue. Stuck by my side. Take me again, I don't understand. That's really nice. I like that. We're gonna record that. This is just kind of our intro. We're building up to the chorus right now. If you like to write as you go along, feel free to do that. I'm just kind of spitballing it just to kind of show you guys how to structure a song, generally speaking. But the good thing with indie music is that really there are no rules. You know, if you want to like mix everything up, totally feel free to do that. Take me away, I don't want to be stuck again. Remember your face when I saw it, I sunk again. Okay, so I, I like that first part, but I didn't like the lyrics on the second part. So we're gonna try and cut it out here. Remember your face said I loved you, why'd you pretend? Okay, we got the... So with these lyrics, I kind of wanted to seem like I really care about you, but it's not reciprocated back kind of thing. Why'd you pretend? And underwater, I can't seem to breathe at all. I fell in love, but it ain't what it seems at all. Okay, 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 we're kind of snapping, we're going off. Now, before we get into this chorus, it's uh, damn near mandatory. If you're making some, you know, some, some vibey-ass music, gotta, gotta light a little candle, you know what I mean? What we got going on today? We got creamy, creamy vanilla swirl. Kind of crazy. <laughs> so this is, this is kind of our precursor into our hook. We kind of want to build this story of like, I love you, you don't love me, figuring it out. You know what I mean? Building a story into indie music is super, super nice. And uh, it's kind of one of those things where it's like, a lot of people don't really pay attention to that kind of stuff at the first part. But like, 
once they like the song and they listen to it for like the 13th time, then they like, like pay attention like, oh my God, whoa, this is actually about something. And it's like, it becomes like, at least that's the way it is for me with a lot of songs. I fell in love, but it ain't what it seems at all. I've come up with an idea. We're gonna make this part the final part before the chorus. And we're gonna say just two things and we're gonna repeat it, just like add a little bit of more emotion the second time we say it. So we're gonna say, take it all away and we're just gonna sing it and just make it sound cool and yeah. Take it all, take it all away. I take it back. If I had another chance, I'd take it back. Take it all away. I'd take it back. If I had another chance, I'd take it back. Yeah. Now, you might be thinking, that's a whole lot. And I definitely agree with you, but we're gonna do some things here to make it really cool and do some layers to make it like really cool. We're gonna do another layer. in another preset from my preset pack uh, let's just do the ad lib one and we're just going to use this just for the beginning part just to really give it it's uh like a real spacey kind of vibe this has a it's a really cool preset i like this one so this is with no preset no mix this will pretty much show you how important a mix and a preset really is to uh to your song this is completely raw take it away i take it back Horrendous. Obviously, you do not want your song sounding like that, so we're gonna throw in the preset like so. Uh, and then take it all away. I'd take it back. Lot better and this is just messing around for a couple of minutes in fl studio if you guys really put your time to it you guys can make some crazy sauce so to summarize on how to uh, make a cool indie song i think number one is obviously get a good beat and i think there's tons of tons of tons of really good beats over on youtube after that is kind of understanding what you want your song to be about i think it definitely helps to write it down if you're brand new another thing that helps is uh it's a major vibe of boosters and i think really just singing over the beat and kind of just like getting a feel for what you want it to sound like if you guys were seeing in this video what i would do is i would sing and then i would try to piece words and see what words would just like come out of my brain right away and try and make a sentence out of that word now last but not least is obviously mix is very important so either a uh, learn how to mix yourself b go to a studio and it might be quite pricey or number C, which I might be biased, but I think this is the best one, is uh, go get a preset. And uh, if you guys want to go get this preset or many more that have been vetted by myself, you guys can go over to my website, loganer.com. Got the best presets in the game, for sure. Fellas, I think it's time we subscribe. 100,000 on the way ski. I'm going to see you guys in the next one. See you later.